What is going on YouTube? Sim so Johnny here and I'm bringing you part two of my Oasis survival mode. And now guys, I must ha ha say a big, big sorry for the lack of gameplay recently. I've been incredibly busy. I know it's been over a week since I uploaded anything. So anyway, I'm really sorry and I'm hoping to get at least one or two videos out for the, ne for the next couple of days for you lot. As I love you. And I'm going to upload some Black Ops and play some more Marvel Warfare 2. Of course, some MW3. And, um, guys, I would love to have, um, I would love to play with you, some of you guys. Drop me a message over YouTube, Twitter, whatever. However you, whichever social network site you get in contact with me with. And I will hopefully have a good game with you on MW3. I won't lie, I, I do have my good games. I do have quite a few bad games. I, if you want, guys, if you leave five likes on this video, or five comments, or five favourite shares, I will upload a re I will upload a kind of standard game. You, have, you know, you see all these get YouTubers getting like 58, like four, or things like that. That's that doesn't happen many times. What really happens is the simple fact is maybe four out of ten games they do really badly, and then. And then you'll get like that one or two games where they do absolutely amazing and they upload that. I'm the same. You look at my gameplay, you'll see me doing amazingly well. But I won't lie, guys. Sometimes I have games where I'm negative by over 10, which is a bit embarrassing. But anyway, enough of that rubbish. Let's get let's go on with the gameplay. <laughs> you can see I've still got my MP. I've got my M MP90. Sorry, I'm getting mixed up. I've been playing some World at War and. And I've been getting mixed up with the MP40 and the uh, 90 so forgive me if I accidentally made the mistake. And anyway, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, let me get the usual rubbish out of the way, guys. I'm sorry I have to do this. Please like, subscribe, comment, favourite, share, whatever else you can do on this, on this, on this video. Helps my channel out and makes more people find my channel. So enough of that rubbish. And you can see I've used the airstrike, which I I keep in my back pocket and. Now, guys, this is a critical moment you're going to see here. You're going to see a new, one. you're going to see new, one of my favourites, which is jumping. See, I jump online as well. It gives you that. It confuses the enemy. So that's my top tip of this video. If you're in trouble and you get like that sort of knife that misses, jump, turn, and shoot. See, I'll do it again. I jump over him. What let me down then was my accuracy, as you can see. My accuracy is not the best in the world. I won't lie, but I'm trying to get better. That's what I'm trying to do, guys, for you. And now you're going to see the ultimate use of C4. <laughs> see, I threw an extra piece because I didn't realise I killed both of them. So. you got to love C4. So my tips are keep flashbangs up your C4 and jumping and possibly even drop shotting, even though I despise that. But let's go into the topic of the video. Usually I like to have a topic of a video. And I'm afraid to say, guys, it's going to be typical ground frigging snipers. So I... I look on YouTube and I get like this sniper montage of five headshots in less than five seconds and then but okay that you might be that takes some skill. However, what annoys me about the snipers is that you can spray with a semi automatic sniper and beat a shotgun. For me, that doesn't seem right. A shotgun is supposed to be powerful at, it's supposed to be completely ridiculously overpowered at point blank range. However, what I'm noticing more and more is that shotguns might take four, three to four shots to kill someone at point blank range. The only shotgun I can think of at the exception is the UK, UKAS-12 with damage or range on that shotgun is ridiculous. I mean, it's no longer a shotgun, it could be a, a submachine gun, a slow fire submachine gun with its range. But with my AA-12 I've got focus and grip on with um, Harline's scavenger and steady aim and I usually just spray from the hip everywhere. I don't really spray though, I just auto. And the thing is, I might have to fire an entire mag to kill one person. Now, while a, a kid with a sniper can shoot me and get a one shot kill, me, that, it, I know snipers are really powerful, I know that. But it makes the game unbalanced, I think. The problem with Call of Duty is that, that there's a lot of things which make the game unbalanced. Let's be honest. You've got. I love love what they've done with MW3 with making the submachine guns lose the power at range. Finally, because there's no longer because if you if you played Modern Warfare 2, you remember the UMP. You could fire across the map and get a free bullet kill. 
while an assault at any range. You can, I remember on high rise, people just to tab the UN, UMP across the map and get like triple kills. So I'm glad they've done that. But I know where they need to work on the assault rifles now. I'm fed up with assault rifles beating me at point blank range while I'm using a submachine gun or a shotgun. They are good for medium to long range mostly. I think at point short range they should suffer from lower damage. I think snipers should have exactly the same thing at short range. They should not get a one shot kill unless they even hit. But I think we need a bigger change with snipers. I think the problem with snipers are that they're not that overpowered, but I do think that you need to give the community more of a chance. The people who don't like the snipers, give them more of a chance. Because guys, I'm going to keep to this promise from now on. You will not see a single sniper gameplay on my channel. I won't. I won't allow it. I'm an anti-sniper. And before we go any further, before I have a rant about the sniper, I did sacrifice the Delta Squad here. It was a bit stupid of me, but I thought I had to because I was really getting into trouble there. And you can see I'm taking a lot of damage. And guys, you're going to see later on walking down this area is suicide. This time I'm alright, but later on in the gameplay there will be a claymore right there and it will kill me. And I will go down, or is it in this area? I can't remember exactly. Put something that tells you something, does it with my memory? But never mind, as you're back to the sniper rant. I know there's a lot of you out there who will comment and go, I'm like a, I'm a noob because I can't use snipers and I don't deserve to play the game and all that rubbish. But I'm, I'm sorry to say that I believe passionately that Call of Duty isn't about sniping, it's more about the sub, the assault rifles, the shotgun, there's nothing, it snipers were for me an afterthought kind of thing, that's in my opinion, and I'm pretty annoyed by continuous, I'm pretty annoyed by gamers who just upload sniper footage, I'm like, dude, dude, uh, don't you have any other classes, my mate has, has over eight, my mate has ten classes right, eight of them are sniper classes, so if he doesn't do very well, what happens? Because what happens is simple. It just annoys me the fact that in when I play with him on, um, let's say, Domination, Demolition, and even Drop Zone, all he can do is effectively snipe. And he doesn't really do much for the team. While I'm running around with my favourite combo, at the moment I'm into the... I'm into the I've gone into the MP7 with Silent Server. However... However, I'm going to try and upload. Everyone like everyone hates that submachine gun, don't they? The PM9, I think it's called. I've been talking to YouTubers, been looking online. It is a very hard gun to use, and it's really challenging, I'm afraid to say. I really do struggle with it. I really do struggle with that gun as well. The problem with it is that I'm getting... Better and better at it slowly. The thing is about the PM9. My biggest tip to you is that, unlike unlike the any other sub, just rely on just trust me about this. Just rely on point blank range with silencer and um, rapid silencer and rapid fire silencer. Just silencer with kick. So I'm getting my words mixed up. It is late at night and my mind's just a mush. I'm sorry, guys. But you know what it's like for gamers, we don't get much sleep, we don't get much rest. But anyway, enough about me and my lack of sleep and my terrible, terrible skill with sniping. But I might not upload any sniper gameplay, but I managed in my fifth prestige, which I'm on now, to get my sniper to level 50 and I'm really impressed with myself, which is really, which has really, really cheered me up. I managed to get it to level 30 and I'm never, ever going to use it again. I use the Barrett 50 cal and it's a friggin' nightmare to use. I hate it because I seem to get that many hit markers, I lose count. I just despise hit markers because I might get shot by, um, I might get, I might use my Barrett at point blank round, shoot someone in the, shoot someone quite um, close to them in the chest and I might get a hit marker. He might turn around with the same gun and shoot me in the chest and he will kill me in one bullet. I don't ask for much in Call of Duty. All I ask for is decent games to upload to YouTube and to play with my mates. I don't ask for much, guys. But the thing is, I don't get that. And 
that's my biggest problem. I don't seem to get that. So, I just get annoyed by that. Anyway, guys, another reason why I've been uploading recently is the fact that I've been playing a lot of World at War. I love World at War. World at War is my favourite Call of Duty. A lot of you might call me a noob, but I absolutely adore World at War. Because for me, that Call of Duty game was the best. The maps were really balanced. They, they, you had the MP40, which was incredibly overpowered, but everyone used it. So it weren't overpowered effectively, because you unlocked it so early. The, the thing in this game is the ACR is really overpowered. The problem is, though, with the ACR is that you unlock it so late that you unlock it so late that means that people, you need a prestige token to unlock it early. So that's what I did. I unlocked it early on my, I think it was my fourth prestige. I unlocked it really early because I felt like it. And I'm tongue twisting my words again. I'm really sorry, guys. I'm I'm really sorry about this. But anyway, let's get on with the game. Okay, you can see. <laughs> sorry, right. <laughs> anyway, I, you know what? I love this. I've been playing a lot of World at War and I've been playing the zombies as well. I love World at War Zombies. I've been trying to get the Shino Numa achievement for <sighs> so many years. I've had World at War since the start, since Christmas when it, the first Christmas came out. And guys, I have never, never wanted to get an achievement so much in my life. It is 75,000 points on Shino Numa. On Derisa, I might get over 100,000 points. But on Shino Numa, I just cannot get that 75,000 point achievement. And it's getting annoying, and I'm not, I don't go for achievements usually, but I just want this one achievement. So I'm buzzing about this game, this one achievement. If I can do that, I will be so pleased with myself. But anyway, guys, leave a comment if you want to see some World at War gameplay, because I don't, I've been there is places in these old school Call of Duty games. Now a lot, I've been playing Call of Duty since Call of Duty 3, okay? I, I don't like Call of Duty 3 particularly, I just don't really enjoy it. I love Call of Duty 4, I, World War is just amazing on all levels. Modern Warfare 2 is a good game but makes me rage like no other game. Black Ops is amazing and Modern Warfare 3 is good. So Call of Duty for me is brilliant. But that I will always argue my point that World War is the best Call of Duty by far. And you can see guys I'm using the Predator as a sort of recon. As a sort of UAV, it tells me the enemy are. And I can, use, I can use it for observation mostly. But anyway guys, I hope you're enjoying these videos. So please like, subscribe, comment. I've said it earlier, but let's... I want to repeat it to because people seem to have short attention span. No offence to anyone, I love you all. But it, I do work on these videos and I go down very stupidly there by my own claim. Or I was annoyed as an undressman. So, problem for me is on this game, I don't think claim all should kill... I think they should really injure you. So, like, one or two bullets kill you. But nothing like that. But, guys, I just want you to know that I'm trying to give you the best videos I can. The quality might be the best. My commentary might be dull. I, but leave comments. Tell me what you want me to improve on. I'm trying to improve for you guys, okay? But, anyway, guys, I think I've played a bit of World of War earlier. I think I've played 53 for about 12 or something stupid like that. And I got one lot of dogs. It was... It was good. The problem with World of War is there's so many games that are hacked. I despise all this hacking, this god mode. I, I'm launching a, I want to launch a campaign where all gamers, I don't care if you play Minecraft, you hate Call of Duty. I think we all agree that if you're playing a game, you don't want to see many people with god mode on. I don't, guys, can you leave a comment to explain to me why god mode is good? Why... Why, why would you want it on Call of Duty? Yes, you don't die, but for me, dying is part of Call of Duty. Because you don't want to be immune from everything. Otherwise, if you are, where's the fun? And I think, do I die by a claymore here? No, I'm lucky this time. Later on in the video, I do die by a claymore there, so I'm worried about it. And you can see I'm piling up the sea falls with a lot of them. Bit of a waste. But, but it annoys me the fact of all these people who hack. I'm a legit... 10th prestige level 65. I class myself in World of War as a pretty 
decent player on World at War. I played World at War so much. I think I've got about 22 days on World at War. And you see, guys, all I want to do is get them, is have fun. The problem with people, people don't seem to understand having fun on World at War. Because, sorry, I was a big fan of that kid. He just ran into the clown. Sorry. And that amused me. World at War for me is no longer, it, if you find a game where no one is hacking it, it's so much fun. But then you got that odd noob who just who floats around the map with god mode and I'm like, dude, just leave. I, I must have file complaints to about 20 people in the last week playing World of War. But anyway guys, what do you think? Some of you might be going, why bother playing a game that's all better? But I think guys that I do think the game companies have an obligation to try and look at these games and go, well, I don't care if just one person plays the game. That one person deserves a game that's functional and works properly. So, why should they suffer from a load of effectively bad kids who can't play the game, who got these unlimited health, go through walls, lag everywhere? It's not fair, it ruins the game for us all. So, guys, please support my campaign. We need to, we need to kick these hackers down. If you hack yourself, I would get rid of your hack, dude. You are. You are ruining Call of Duty for the vast majority of us gamers who want to play Call of Duty not to get like amazing gameplay, but to have fun. That is the purpose of Call of Duty, is to have fun. The thing is, people are losing this message because I think the prop, the thing is, I record for YouTube, but I'm not a big fan of clans because for me, I, I preferred it when my mates weren't in the clans because I could talk and we played Call of Duty. But we didn't play it for like amazing, amazing kill to death races. We played for fun. The problem is now is that no one seems to play for fun anymore. It's all about this. I must get a 360 off a of building, spinning around, zooming in and out with my sniper, and now I'm brilliant at Call of Duty. I would rather watch, sit for a player getting negative by about 50, but running around. Having a great time rather than watching someone who's camping in a corner with a sniper or quick scoping. That is my belief. You might disagree with me. I don't, if you do, I respect your views. But guys, let's try and make. If please, guys, if you don't camp, leave a like. Sh click that like button for me. Let's get our message across to the people that we don't want campers. We don't want the god mode. What we want is honest gaming again. We want. We want the hat. We want Treyarch to patch the games, and I'm I'm a bigger fan of the Treyarch games than the Infinity Ward. But I like both. So anyway, guys, that's this is racking up the video already. Well, that's gone quick. So anyway, guys, I remind you again: please like, subscribe, comment the usual rubbish. Please favorite, share, blah blah blah. So guys, peace out from me. Peace out.